Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Vinyl Reviews. My name's Jacob and I'm here with another unboxing video for you guys. So first of all, I'll start by saying I'm sorry I haven't actually uploaded anything in quite a while. I think it's been a few weeks. And I've actually have filmed a few things in the meantime, but I just never managed to actually get to the editing and all that sort of stuff to actually upload them. So hopefully you'll see a few things coming through, some of that older stuff that I haven't uploaded, and some new stuff. But here we go, we got a nice big box from Hobby Link Japan. This thing has been traveling for quite some time, and I'm really excited to see what's in here, because I should have qu quite a bunch of Bandai vinyls. So as always, it's a bit tricky doing these videos with my phone. I usually used to do these with my webcam, which decided to break. Or at least it, it's very inconsistent. It keeps, like, cutting out. So I'm going to have to do this one-handedly. There we go. Somehow I managed that. Oh, by the way, uh, my little friend Benny is here today. It's not my dog. I My dog is actually in the other room, Puffy. <laughs> but uh, it's my little friend Benny who I'm looking after. Just make sure that's cut. So, we should have a bunch of Bandai vinyls, which I'm really excited about, because I have been waiting for these forever, because I always go for the cheapest postage option, which uh, can take quite a long time sometimes to actually arrive. What have we got here? Got some bubble wrap stuff. can chuck that all to the side. And what have we got first? This guy. I'm very late to the party with this, but we got our Hedora. This is the brand new sculpt of Hedora from our Movie Monster series. How do I get him out with one hand? Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Let's check it out. Look at that. That looks really cool. I do have the old sculpt in like a, a weird repainted version, and I have the YMSF figure. I've also pre ordered the Monster Arts version, so we got a lot of Hedoras on the way, or like in my collection already. But this one, this one looks great. Look at that. Bandai Movie Monster Series Hedora figure. So this one I was waiting for for a long time, because I actually had him back ordered for months. Until they finally had him in stock. There we go. I actually got two of them just because I figured maybe I'll sell this one later down the line or something like that or it's just kind of cool to have because it's very rare we get Hedora figures oh yes we got this one which I forgot what he's called but he's from Godzilla Singular Point he's uh, one of the new kaiju from that series get out of the bag will ya been really excited about this one as well as the Playmates figure which I have no idea if and when it's going to come out here in Australia but this is the Bandai Movie Monster series version of, does it say? Saloon... Salunga. There we go. That is really cool. I think a lot of people thought this might have been Gabra or something like that. He does kind of look like Gabra in a lot of ways. But I think, it, yeah, he's his own original kaiju. But maybe a little bit inspired by Gabra. But that's really cool. I love the texture on them. Got this really nice round speckled texture. Nice greens, some olive highlights, gray horns, and those teeth, that snarl. Really cool. Moving on. What else have we got? We've got two of them. Did I order two of them? I don't think I did. I have to double check that. Interesting. Ah, and this I was really excited about. Um, I know it's just a little, a little bunch of little side things that I got. I'm actually, I'll look at these later on. I'll just put those to the side. So I did get some other stuff. What else did we get? I think this is one of the other Shin Ultraman Kaiju, if I'm correct. So let's have a look at this guy. He does look like an Ultraman Kaiju. Now, I'm not really actually too familiar with Ultraman, and I have not seen Shin Ultraman yet. I'm really eager to. Interesting, there's a like clear plastic and stuff on this guy. But yeah, that says Shin Ultraman just there. What the? Looks like a pen or something. I don't know what the deal with this guy is. Normally these tags have like a, a photo of the actual creature on it and stuff like that, but this, this seems really weird. <laughs> I've got clear plastic at the back here. 
Maybe you're meant to shine light through them or something, or... I don't know. Interesting, I will take a look at that later again. Oh, we got one of our little Chibi Godzilla things from... I don't remember what that show's called. There we go, one of these guys from this little sort of Godzilla puppet show. I always forget what it's called. I actually haven't seen much of it. But, I figured it was a cool way to get a cute little Godzilla Jr. figure. Nice. Nice little cute Bandai vinyl. And who else have we got here? Oh yes! We have the Chad version of the Singular Point Jet Jaguar with the long legs as opposed to that really awkward looking version with the short legs. Which, you know what? I, I, I kind of like a lot more after I saw the anime. But, come on. That's much better. <laughs> I think the legs are actually, yeah, they can turn. Interesting, okay. There we go. She can't wait to get the Monster Arts version of this guy, because that one looks even more proportional. But yeah, so far this one looks a lot better. Oh, the head, head does look really small compared to the body on this guy. There we go, there's how he looked in the anime. Ah, uh, Jet Jaguar. Gotta love Jet Jaguar. <laughs> it's such a weird design, but so cool. Nice. Alright, what else have we got in here? Again, I don't even like, remember everything that I got in here, because this was like, bought a while ago. Here I've got... Ah, uh, the, the blue, or the other Ultraman figure from Shin Ultraman. So, I forgot what this one was called. Again, I'm not too familiar with my Ultraman lore. And again, it has that same picture on here, instead of like your typical image from the movie, which is odd, because the other Ultraman ones that I got from Shin Ultraman did. But there we go, there's whatever this one's called. I forgot again, I knew it. So I guess there's going to be two Ultraman in Shin Ultraman, by the looks of it. I'm excited for that, to actually see the movie. And I think that's all the Bandai vinyls, although I swear... Instead of, where the bloody hell is it? Instead of this one, I swear, I ordered something else. I will have to ch double check my, my purchase history. But, I did get some more knickknacks. So, actually, what is the thing at the bottom here? Ah, I think these are, oh ah, yeah, some clear files I think that I got. Did I order two of these as well? I guess two of them, but I don't remember getting two of them, but maybe I did. Again, this was a long time ago. Plastic clear files with this nice, cool image of Godzilla here, trashing these <laughs> people. This, um, I forgot what it's called, this very classic Japanese wood print with the big wave by Mount Fuji. That looks really sick. Love that. On the back, just says that. Nice. So, here are the rest of the uh, knickknacks that I actually purchased. So, the main reason I got these things is, since I'm already spending on the shipping and stuff like that, I figured I may as well just purchase up a bunch of just little interesting things that won't really add to the cost of the shipping, but just uh, will actually give me a few cool little bonus things that normally I wouldn't go out of my way to actually pick up. The first of these is this postcard. So, it has the exact same image as these file folders. I did actually double check and actually everything I ordered is accurate to what I ordered. I actually thought that some of the uh, things that I doubled up on like the file folders and this guy here, uh, that I that those ones were inaccurate, but actually on double checking, uh, that's actually what I ordered, oddly enough, but I don't actually remember that. My bad, oh well. But, this has the exact same image as those file folders, however it's a postcard sized and shaped card with a 3D lenticular image on it. I think that's how you call it. These images where you kind of look at it from two different angles and it kind of looks 3D or it changes the picture. It doesn't really do much. It just kind of slightly warps, but it still looks really cool. And actually for a very long time, I've actually really wanted a Godzilla lenticular image that's been kind of on my wish list for a while. And I didn't even know if any existed, but when I saw this one, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up, see what it's like in person. And this will kind of give you an idea. That's pretty cool. He just kind of like moves forward as if he's roaring and charging forward a little bit, so that's pretty cool. 
Moving on, got two little key rings, and these are actually a little smaller than I was expecting. Got this little tiny Godzilla 1954 sculpt here. Very, very tiny indeed. Just on a, a little, just a little strap, little key ring thing. That's what the image there looks like. Does say Godzilla 1954, 2021 trademark. Yeah, just a cute little tiny Godzilla. Very nice. And this is another keyring. So this is a Godzilla vs. Mofra Heisei era poster sort of keyring. It's just a thick piece of acrylic plastic. On this side we got a strip of that poster there with Mofra and Godzilla and Mofra lava down there. And just says Godzilla on the back of this thing here. Very, very simple. Yeah, basic, your basic keyring. 2017 trademark on this one. Now, this one was really cool by the looks of it we got a king Ghidorah mug i don't really need any more mugs <laughs> i've actually got too many in my household actually but i couldn't resist because uh you know what i would love to drink my coffee from a king Ghidorah branded mug so we got gods on the top hopefully i can again open this with one hand it was wrapped up pretty well in bubble wrap which is really nice of the good old people at hobby link japan to have done but it meant that I couldn't really film that unboxing part on screen because it's getting really difficult to do one-handed the way I'm doing this at the moment. But this part seems easy enough. There we go. Let's take a look at the mug itself. There we go. Again, it's this nice little stylized imagery using this classic wave wood print. This uh, very, very iconic image that I'm sure all of you have seen time and again. It's a big sort of thing in pop art that has popped up everywhere. But instead, we got King Ghidorah attacking the people in the boat, which is just awesome. So I, I love this. That's really, really cool. Anything under here? Blank. Just a, a real basic, typical ceramic mug, the kind of mug that exists all over the world that you can get for next to nothing, just with a really cool King Ghidorah print on it. Sweet. I'll probably keep this box too. I'm pretty pedantic about keeping all my boxes, especially since there's that cool image of King Ghidorah on it. It's a really small one too. Not that it's ever going to see the light of day again. <laughs> but yeah, nice mug that I'll be using from then on. So the last thing I wanted to close this video up with is I wanted to take a nice look at this Hedora figure and actually compare it to some of the other very similar ones in my collection. Let's get the light on him a little better. And first we'll bring in the previous sculpt. So this is the previous Bandai Movie Monster Series Hedora. I think this is an improvement. Both of these are really good figures. This one you'll notice is like the Godzilla Store exclusive version of this kind of weird paint job on him that looks... It's meant to be like a vintage retro sort of paint job on him, whatever that means. It's just kind of metallic and weird with orange eyes. But as far as the sculpts go, they look really good together. This one it's nice and tall, which I like. Nice big tail as well. This one's kind of a, quite a big tail too. Nice bulk to him from the side as well. But I think the new one is definitely a little bit bigger. That's really good. I was wondering if this one was the same sculpt as this one, but on actually looking at videos of them, I was pretty sure they weren't. And indeed, this one is the old sculpt. So it's the brand new one. That looks cool. Classic Hedora eyes. Hedora is one of my favorite kaiju. Just a really original, really unique monster. And if we bring in the YMSF figure here, which is one of my favorite Hedora figures. Like, there's something about this sculpt that is just elegant and just beautifully done. Even though it's this chaotic mess, it just really has a beautiful flow to it. I think the paintwork on this particular one is a little bit dark. I would have liked to have seen it done in a similar paint job to this one. Because this one has some nice nice color on him. Some yellows up the top. Some really bright yellow up here. And should have some like red and yellow on the back here. And this sort of metallic gray base to everything. Whereas this one is almost black. Even the eyes seem kind of dark for a Hedora. And there are some nice highlights on him. But uh, paint-wise this one is probably the darkest Tedora in my collection. But sculpt-wise, I do still prefer the YMSF one. I just think it looks really, really elegant and really nice. It just aesthetically looks better. 
But this one might be more accurate. But just by kind of looking at him without comparing him to anything, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But yeah, that's just a quick little comparison between those three figures right there. That's about it for this unboxing, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll stick around for some of my future videos. I do have a lot in the works at the moment. I have been working pretty hard on modifying my uh, Hammond Collection Jurassic Park T-Rex. So I'm kind of working on remaking the teeth at the moment here. So these are kind of my work in progress teeth on that. There's a repainted head that's been reworked and repainted with new eyes. So I'm going to be doing videos on that really soon. And some other cool stuff. But until then, may all your vinyl be a radiated vinyl. Over and out. Bye.